Hallo, hallo, Mic Test. So yes, with a few lines of code, you can see that we have built a great dashboard, which is something that we can interact with and can play around with different types of things. And not only that, we are also doing the Monte Carlo simulations to understand what is the probability of profit. For example, in this case, it's more than 80%. The median profit that we are going to earn is 23,000 rupees and so on. So you can see the power of this dashboard that we have built with Python, and it will be very, very helpful to you guys. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. If you are here to build an interactive option strategy builder and a simulator using Python, then yes, you are at the right place. In this video, we are going to build this simulator that you can see in front of you. I can actually interact with it using multiple uh, sliders on strike price, call premium, put premium, quantity, spot price, etc, etc. And not only this, I can also build some strategies like straddle, strangle, iron condor, bull call spread, and butterfly. The best thing here is that we are going to understand what are the break-even prices. And using the Monte Carlo simulation, we'll see what's the probability of making a profit and what's the median amount of profit or loss that we can have with this particular strategy. A lot of people were commenting me on my other videos that, that build something in the option strategies domain. So yes, guys, here we go. But before writing the code of this option strategy builder and simulator, guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, on this channel, I turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers. Here I upload videos related to building trading bots, implementation of AI in finance, using some highly valuable finance APIs and building some great trading strategies, etc, etc. So if this is something of your interest, then you should click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are in my pipeline and I don't want Want you guys to miss out on any of these future content cool let's see what are the topics that we are going to cover in this video so yes the topics to cover this project is on option strategy builder and simulator and uh, with and in this video the first thing that we are going to do is explore straddle strangle iron condor bull spread um, bull call spread and butterfly option strategies then we'll see what are the python libraries that we are going to use for this project um, we'll also understand the call and put payoffs and the combination uh, of these two types of instruments payoff and the combined payoff of these two types of instruments. Then we'll also talk about the Monte Carlo GBM simulation. And after that, uh, what are the inputs that we are going to consider? And then last but not the least, we will build the entire dashboard for the option strategy builder and simulator. So yes, without any further ado, let's start. The libraries that I'm going to use for this project, the first one is NumPy. So import numpy as np, matplotlib for plotting, dot pyplot as plt. Then we are going to use some widgets. Uh, the first one is slider, button, and radio buttons. In the end, we are also do some analysis because in the end, because we are also doing some Monte Carlo simulation here, we are going to use scipy.stats uh, and we are importing norm um, from this library. So let's start with the call payoff, put payoff and combined payoff. It's a simple calculation. If you guys are from uh, the finance background, then you would know that how to calculate the payoff of call and put uh, and how to use different types of combinations for the uh, calculations. But just uh, to quickly go through it, there are three, four things which are uh, important in any types of options, be it call option or put option. The first thing is, the first thing is S, which is spot price, K, which is strike price. Premium is very important and that's basically the money that is involved in options trading. If we buy any particular call or put option, we pay premium. If we write any particular call or put option, we get premium in the beginning. Quantity, which is basically the number of lots and that's it. So payoff is simple mathematics, which is maximum of S minus K comma zero. And then we'll have to subtract premium from it. Then only we'll get the payoff. So we are returning payoff multiplied by quantity if it's a long. Otherwise, it's minus payoff multiplied by quantity. Similar to that, the put payoff also has the spot price, strike price and other things. Here, the only difference is rather than S minus K, we are doing K minus S uh, and zero. We are taking maximum of these two things. And again, we're subtracting premium which is something that we are paying on the day one itself. If you are buying, 
return payoff multiplied by quantity similar to what we have done with call option as well if it's long otherwise it's minus payoff multiplied by quantity simple for the combined payoffs we need to understand the first thing which is the uh, the spot price and the number of legs uh, behind any particular combination right so the first thing that we have considered is we have built a zeros array which is actually used to uh, make the final uh, payoff uh, be it the call option or the put option so the function that we are building right now will be used later and that for that reason i'm actually collating all the functions in the beginning itself if leg type is equal to c then it's basically a call payoff and we are considering all these inputs to calculate the call payoff and the same thing goes with the put payoff using the similar inputs uh, uh, for the put payoff as well in the end we're returning total cool now i have uh, done some monte carlo gbm simulation now what it means is i am actually uh, doing a simulation to calculate the probability of uh, making a profit with any particular strategy that's one thing second is the median profit or loss third thing is the downside percent what's the extent of downfall that uh, it can have right so we're starting with the first function which is simulate st these are the inputs which are the first one s s0 is uh, the spot price at t is equal to 0 which is the current spot price mu is average sigma is volatility t is uh, the days to expiry this is the number of simulations that we are doing 12000 is a decent number we can increase it further but it will uh, slow down the code so i'm just keeping it to 12000 and c is equal to 42 right we are considering random data set in the beginning what we are doing is we are calculating t which is maximum of the days to expiry divided by 252 because it's in um, years right it's annualized if t is equal to zero then we are not doing anything otherwise this is basically the formula of monte carlo simulation if you don't know about this formula guys i have made a very detailed video on multiple videos actually on monte carlo simulations so please check out my um, uh, previous videos uh, to know more about this but this is how this is basically the formula of monte carlo simulation in the end we are returning st and then here we are calculating the metrics right we are providing the number of legs the s0 which is basically the current uh, spot price mu sigma t days and the number of uh, simulations here as well we are doing this monte carlo simulation the the function that we have built here over here and then calculating the payoffs uh, using the combined payoff function that we have um, built here in the end what i'm interested here is ev the probability of profit median and uh, downside percentage and that's something that we are returning in the end just to give you a quick context uh, this is the dashboard that we are going to build uh, and uh, what i'm working on here is this one so monte carlo uh, analysis ev uh, probability of profit which is 38.6 percent here median is uh, minus 170.1 so this is something that we are working on. Again, we'll uh, uh, cover this thing in much detail. For different strategies, it's uh, different numbers. Now, the next thing is uh, uh, analytics, right? Now, this particular function, which is break evens, scans through your payoff curve and finds all underlying prices where uh, profit changes from positive to negative or vice versa. Basically giving you the break even points uh, of the strategy, right? Let's start with uh, the inputs now. The mu default is uh, 0 0.06, which is 6%. The S0, which is uh, current uh, spot price uh, for Nifty, right now it's somewhere around uh, 24,860, but I'm considering 24,900. I'm interested in strike price of 25,000 that anyways I can change in the dashboard because it's interactive dashboard. The, uh, the premium for the call, the premium of the put, I'm putting 380 and 360. Again, we can change it later. Quantity one uh, days to default or days to expiry is nine. We can change all these things in the dashboard as well. Sigma is 0.18, which is 18%. This is basically the range uh, which is considered to put plot the graph. So it's just for the visual representation. We are considering minus 5,000 to plus 5,000 of the spot current spot price. Now, let's start with this one, which is Lin space. It, it makes a range from point A to point B, which is useful when we plot a graph. So let me just go back to this dashboard. So in order to plot this particular chart, we have to uh, have point A and point B here. Uh, these points are two uh, 20,000 and 30,000. And we need all different numbers between these two uh, points as well, which is 22,000, 24,000, so on. Lin space is something which is used to build this particular range, right? So we have this range ready now. We have worked on the Monte Carlo simulation. <clears throat> we have worked on the break events as well. Spot price 
strike price and quantity is something that we get from these sliders we'll see how to build the slider as well and uh, these are the radio buttons uh, again we have to build this radio buttons as well so let me go back to the code so the first strategy that we are building is straddle in order to make a straddle we started with the uh, this function which is make straddle uh, the inputs are k which is uh, strike price the premium of call the premium of put and the quantity what are the things that we are returning we are returning type k premium quantity and long is equal to by the way i am <clears throat> making this dashboard only for the long strategy so long uh, straddle long strangle etc it will be a homework to you guys to build it for short uh, strategies as well so we are using plt dot style use cborn v0 uh, underscore 8 dark grid uh, for this uh, plotting using subplots uh, size 12 comma 7 you can just paste exact same numbers uh, because i have checked it it looks good it's basically for the visuals so the legs is equal to make straddle which is uh, the function that we have built and we have provided all the inputs um, uh, for building the straddle right the payoff would be combined payoff s and then legs that's something that we anyways have let me just go back to this combined payoff yeah we have legs as a part of uh, inputs here right and uh, the line payoff is going to ax which is our plot dot plot and then we are plotting it the label is long straddle some basic representations here uh, the horizontal line starts from zero color k label is underlying um, the x label is underlying price at expiry y label is profit slash loss per unit the, the title of the chart is interactive options uh, strategy payoff and monte carlo matrix and we will have the legend on the upper left so if i go back to the dashboard you'll see uh, the legend in the upper left this one is on the uh, top right the title of the chart x-axis and y-axis simple so that's how we have built the setup for straddle right apart from this some more uh, information about the visuals where should be the text what what location should be that what should be the location of the text uh, on the chart and so on so i'll just keep it like this i want to fill the graph with some colors because it, because that looks good in the dashboard so yeah it's fill between simply filling the uh, positive fill and the negative fill should always be tomato tomato color so if i go back to dashboard if i change uh, some things you'll see the negative is always tomato color and the positives are some are changing so i just like it so just put it like this perfect now it's the time for the slider these are the uh, seven types of sliders the strike price the call premium the put premium the quantity spot price t which is uh, the days to maturity and uh, implied volatility right these are the names of uh, um, these sliders uh, the ranges as well so if i just go back to this uh, our dashboard so yeah the names of these uh, sliders are like this one strike k call premium put premium etc you can see that there's some range uh, in the slider as well and this is the exact range that we are considering for the slider for example for the call and put premium it's it starts from zero ends at 1000 and so on in the end we have a radio button for the straddle strangle uh, iron condor bull call spread and butterfly which is on the left side perfect i think by by this time you guys know how we are building this uh, entire dashboard starts from the visual and then the next thing would be the logics to uh, build the graph right i hope you are liking the python programming if you are not following this code please don't worry i'll share this code uh, in my google drive just stay tuned till the end of this video i'll tell you how to get access of my google drive but if you are very keen on learning python only for finance guys because python is a very vast programming language we cannot learn everything you'll spend years if you are interested in learning python programming the most important thing here is we need to learn python only for finance all the things which are only relevant for the world of finance hence guys i have made a course on python for financial programming the concepts which are only used in the world of finance just go to this link which is fprithvik.com slash python the link is in the description section as well based on your location just click on one of these uh, buttons it will redirect you to this page right now we have an offer of 70 percent because of the diwali season It's the largest offer that i've put on my course so far but before you click on this button to activate it let's just scroll down a bit what are the things which are covered there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes three assignments two live projects telegram community access and a complete package to elevate your finance career in the end you'll have two live projects the first one is on stock analysis the second one is on the investment portfolio creation using python and this is the entire curriculum of this particular course it starts from as basic as how to download python 
and open a Python file. And it extends to the important libraries of Python in the world of finance, all different types of functionalities of Python. In the end, we do the stock analysis and investment portfolio creation. Just click on this button and based on your location, you'll see the discount, which is for India, it's 5,700 rupees and you pay only 2,448 rupees. Guys, always remember Python is the most important skill set in the world of finance right now. Through this course, I will help you take many steps towards your success. The link is in the description section. Let's come back to our code. Cool. So now it's the time for us to build all the different types of logics for different uh, option strategies. So the first uh, function is build strategy from radio. Radio is basically the options to select the type of strategy that we uh, offer here. I have considered five strategies. You have complete liberty to extend it to more strategies as well. So let's start with a straddle. We're starting with make straddle, providing all different types of inputs. It's a long straddle only. If it's not a straddle, it can be a strangle. For this, we are building it like this. If it's not a strangle as well, it will. It can be a, an iron condor. For this, we are considering legs like this one. I have hard coded some of the numbers here, like 400, 800 and so on. You're absolutely fine to change them as well. Extending it to the bull call spread, it's built like this. The butterfly, it's built like this. Again, guys, if you're not following with the code, please don't worry, you will have the code in the end. Whenever I make any changes in uh, um, in the slider, right, it needs to be updated on a real-time basis, right? So that's how we are, uh, we are having a completely different function to update it uh, for all the different types of sliders that we have, be it strike price, premium of uh, premium of call, premium of put, etc., etc. Here we are filling colors inside uh, the the payoff uh, chart, be it positive or the negative ones. This is how we are providing the we are uh, actually pasting the text of the break evens on the top. We are pasting the Monte Carlo uh, analytics on the top as well. These are again some things to uh, have some formatting right so the what should be the font size should it be in bold what should be the color etc etc in the end we are putting everything on the widgets that we are using and updating it on a real time basis for all different type types of things like strike price premium of call premium of put quantity etc etc we, we are using the update function and then we are plotting uh, using plt.show if we click on the run button you'll see a dashboard like this let me just uh, Put it on the full screen right uh, on the left hand side you'll see straddle strangle iron condor bull call spread butterfly you can interact with these uh, things for example the strike price the call premium the put premium or uh, the quantity it's let's for example go to butterfly increase the quantity and so on you can change the spot price the current spot price uh, of uh, the the stock days to expiry and the annual uh, volatility which is in person as well Right. This is the long straddle, this is the long strangle, the long iron condor, the long bull call spread and the long butterfly spread. So yes, with a few lines of code, you can see that we have built a great dashboard which is something that we can interact with and can play around with different types of things. And not only that, we are also doing the Monte Carlo simulations to understand what is the probability of profit. For example, in this case, it's more than 80%. The median profit that we are going to earn is 23,000 rupees and so on. So you can see the power of this dashboard that we have built with Python, and it will be very, very helpful to you guys. Okay guys, so uh, this particular code will be saved in my Google Drive. To get uh, an access of my Google Drive, you'll have to become a Google Drive community member. Just go to my channel, which is Financial Programming with Ritwik. Click on this particular link and follow these steps to become a uh, Google Drive community member. You'll see that the cost of my Google Drive community is less than a coffee for a month. So I'm just charging some small amount of money because I have uh, hired a few interns and I want money to pay salary to these people. And not only this particular code, there are many more codes that are saved on my Google Drive uh, folder. Things like my trading bots, my personal projects, etc, etc. So yeah, it's absolutely worth the money that you're paying. If you liked even one thing about this video, guys, please click on the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Let's have a target of 500 likes uh, in one month. I'm pretty sure that you guys will uh, make it happen. Also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are uh, about to come on my YouTube channel. I bet you that you are not going to regret this one click. Last but not the least, if you're working on any particular project and uh, want my inputs, then please write a comment. You'll see that I reply uh, to all the comments within 48 hours.
Thanks guys for watching this video till the end. You can click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Over there you'll see my playlist on Tradomate and over there you'll see how we launch our rule-based logic creator at Tradomate.one. Keep learning, keep financial programming and I'll see you in the next video very very soon. Until then, peace. Oh.